so okay um okay this is july 14th 2022 for this is six scale um i'm going to link the meeting notes and chat all right there we go okay um so today we'll just do a abbreviated agenda i think um we need some more folks to talk about the bottom two items so we'll just do the first one um this is an issue that's actually been open for a while but um we've been testing internally in nvidia for a little bit um this is a concept that's been added uh, in Kubernetes. I think in 121 it was added as uh, I went okay 120 was beta, and I think it's um, yeah in alpha 118. So this has been around for a little bit. It's called API Priority and Fairness. Um, it's a really neat feature. It it focuses um, on making sure that um, traffic has a fair chance at at getting API server access, and um, as part of that change, um, you get the ability to um, some other features to like some kind of some rate limiting ability and you can also um, do some other things like um, protecting the Kubernetes API server, which is really important and protecting the control plane, which is um, really important for a lot of reasons, just so you can take in your cluster for multi tenancy lots of use cases work. So anyway, the um, this makes sense to actually for Kubert to integrate with this API. It, because Qvert does generate a lot of traffic, we want to make sure that that you know, like one, those requests have a good shot at reaching the API server, and also that in the same in the same idea, we also want to make sure we don't overwhelm the API server. And um, we don't really, I mean, from from all the testing we've done, we don't we don't we're not really the Qvert is not the culprit whenever it comes to sending a lot of requests to the API server. It usually comes in some other form, but um, if it, it also makes sense that um, that we protect ourselves from anyone else that's very noisy. So um, there's a lot of good reasons to add this. So the um, to give like a, a um, let's see, I don't have any more data. So the I've done a presentation on this in the past and kind of to go through like some of what um, the different um, the different things mean, the different like um, settings. Uh, I, I won't go through that today, but I'll just mention like this is the this is an image of what um, we've been testing um, in production. And, and this is what I I'm going to contribute up to upstream and add it to the bird operator to get deployed in into uh, as part of keywords installation at, at basically at a high level. <clears throat> what this is, uh, what this does is it'll do um, per user. Um, uh, so keywords just got one service account um, and uh, will have a will do a rate limiting for um, the all of the APIs in the Qvert group and all the verbs, and then um, and then the Qvert namespace. And the, what's going to do is going to take the um, the request. It's going to put in the workload low queue. This is where I found it made the most sense. This is where a lot of um, a lot of uh, other like anyone who wants to has a service account. Um, their uh, like the, or any application when they, whenever they want to be in a a queue they usually go into into workload low that's that's what I saw um, so this made sense to in queue, include Qvert in here I think this is just an easy way to start we could also create our own but I thought this was a very simple way just to um, to get started we could always um, we could always change it but the, for in terms of like what we saw in um, results I, I was very promising like. In the cases that um, where um, that that we that we've observed high amounts of pressure on the API server by some other application, uh, we would still see that um, Qvert's requests were were able to um, were able to get through, and the the number of re rejections from the API server was was small. So that was really good to see, and it's what we wanted. So I I think um, kind of in terms of a starting point for API priority and fairness. I think this is something that, that fits and makes uh, makes sense to you know start with this and we can always optimize, you know. And I think there's also like this is also per cluster. I really think that people will want to edit this over time like based on what their you know performance that they're expecting and, and their cluster. So really is like 
kind of way to look at this is like in our default installation of Qvert, you know, what would we expect to have and what we expect to work well? And I think workload low because it's a default um, priority level um, configuration that gets deployed and, um, and um, and then this old last field is the matching precedence. This just means that we're going to be below Kubernetes defaults, um, basically the control plane system um, precedence. It's just right below it. I think 900 is like the last one. So we'll be we'll be high up there as an add-on, but we'll be below Kubernetes um, in terms of the amount of shares that we'll get of the API server. Okay, well, that's that's the basic idea. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover with this. So I'll, I'll follow up with a PR on this and attach it to the uh, to the issue. All right, did you have any thoughts on that, Lubo? Well, I, uh, yeah, it makes sense to have some priority over users and to allow our API to, to make the calls that we need. So uh, do I understand it correctly? We don't get rate limited. We just get more priority over other users. Right. So we uh, so technically um, you can get rate. So it's it's you can get rejected. Your request can get rejected by the API server. Um, but it's with when you integrate like this um, in the way that we're doing it, it's it's not likely. So here I'll I'll back up and put it this way. Put it to you this way. Um, if there is no if there's no API and priority and fairness in place, right? It's just a free for all. So anyone who gets it first wins. The whole idea is like, um, so if there's someone who's really noisy, right, we're gonna get, we're not gonna get access and we're gonna get rejected. If we have this queue, um, what this does is it focuses on making sure that um, the person who's really noisy gets rejected more often than the people who are less noisy, but you're still affected because resources are obviously finite. So um, you can be, so that your question about being rate limited, we technically can get rate limited, because there can be someone who's really, really noisy, but we'll be more protected because we have ourselves a um, flow control and a priority level um, config. So we, there's just some, there's sort of some guarantees that we'll have a, a good shot at the API server. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I will need to catch up a little bit with the API, but it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll start. I'll follow up with a, a PR on this, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, Alubo, if I, I don't know if you have anything else you wanted to add to our topics, but if not, we'll we can we'll push these to the next meeting. Yeah, I think it makes sense to take these issues in the next meeting. Okay. All right. I'll stop sharing that. All right. Thanks, Lubo, and uh, 